Okay, well, I've decided this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna use my gimbal for more of this video, hopefully, but right now I'm charging things up. We're getting ready to camp here. This is how it starts. <laughs> um, I'll spend the night here. The trail, I think, is just down the road here. And uh, if I'm gonna do the one I'm thinking, it's gonna be about 40 miles, so. I'm out of shape. I'm in the mountains. Elevation is 6,000 feet compared to zero. I can't get any oxygen just standing here. So I'll be lucky if I get 10 miles a day. That's what I'm shooting for. That'll put me out there three nights. So I got more than enough food. I got everything. It's kind of weird to get back to hiking. I love it, but I also hate it. It's like, ah, oh, I'm out of shape. All that muscle that you build up, all that patterns and habits and quickly getting things set up. And like, for example, I have, an, I have no idea where my tent stakes are. They're gone. So I've done camping once or twice in between the last time I hiked on the trail, but somebody used them or I lost them or something. So I had three crappy spare ones and I used a piece of metal and a couple of rocks and to do the rest, but we're gonna go. I'm not gonna go all the way out of here just to get a pair of uh, a set of tent stakes. So, but anyway, we got this. I'm probably going to be overkill for you hikers watching this. You're going to be, you know that I am, but I've got a zero degree bag on top. It's down, but I got to tell you, even in my car, the last few nights out here, it's warmer now than it was, but, uh, I got really cold. I mean, had all my clothes on, puffy on everything. The bottom half of me got really cold. So I have that second bag I'm going to use. So I'm going to take it with me. It's extra weight, but. I do not want to get out there and be freezing in the middle of the night and have to walk out. So we're gonna use a little green one, which is a 35 degree bag, kind of as a sleeping bag liner. So if I get too cold in that, then I'm giving up hiking. So that's a ridiculous amount of bag. And then of course I got this new jacket, which I really, really like from Sierra Designs. Same ones that make my bag here. And, um, I think this is the Mount Whitney jacket. It's got the same down 800 ply, whatever it is, 800 fill hydro down. So that's the kind of down that can get, it's synthetic down, I think. It can get wet, but it insulates really well. and It's very light. Same stuff that's in my sleeping bag in there. This thing is awesome. So, all right, so I'm gonna get this cleaned up. We're gonna charge up everything. Um, light. That's my backup battery. I charged last night in the hotel. We're going to charge all the devices. I may take that with me. I don't know. It's pretty heavy. It's like three pounds. Um, just going to do a test run tonight. I could have slept in the car, but I'm going to set up my tent, set up my bag, sleep with the clothes that I'm going to have. And just in case there's some problem, I'm here at the car. So before I leave tomorrow, I can make some tweaks. Right now, I'm going to look for firewood. So, so one of the decisions, I bought these for this trip. These are some nice keen hiking boots. But like all hiking boots, I don't usually use boots, but I thought, well, maybe there'll be snow. Maybe I should use boots. And I think I'm just gonna go with my trail runners. Um, the only thing that I'm afraid of is that if I cross the river and these get really wet and they stay wet overnight and freeze. Um, but I mean, am I trying not to get wet? That's kind of impossible. So, I might leave these behind. I don't know if I should or not because they're really not comfortable. Uh, I don't know what it is with hiking boots. What what the hell is wrong with these? These shoes right here feel like slippers. These feel like concrete worker boots, you know, and these are supposed to be hiking boots. As soon as you put them on, I mean, they got a great grip and everything, but it the, the padding in it is just non-existent. So it feels like you're walking just on rocks. It's just stupid. Uh... I might wear them and just pack those in case. I don't know. Let's see all this. This is all wrong. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be having this much uh, weight, but we'll see what it weighs in the morning. It's probably too much. <laughs> Always. Morning. I'm going to show you the setup real quick. I'm about to break it down, but it's about six in the morning. Pitch black. It worked really well. I got my regular sleeping bag here. 
Let me use my little thin sleeping bag inside. Um, I felt like I couldn't move at all, but I was definitely warm, really warm all night long. Not cold at all. It's pretty cold out here now. So we're getting ready to make some of that coffee. And um, my final preparations here. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't know, I wanted to go for a 40 mile hike, but this is only gonna be like 11 or 12 miles, but it's probably good because I'm out of shape. I don't know the area. What I'm really trying to do is just get up to a spot, maybe halfway, find a good campsite, uh, and just uh, hang out for a couple of days. Just enjoy the woods. And I'm gonna fast. I'm gonna try water fasting for a couple of days. I'm bringing some food just in case, but I'm trying not to eat it. That'll lighten my load too, so. But we can do coffee. And that we surely will do. Oh yeah. <sighs> it's cold. Sunrise in the Gila. It doesn't do it justice. It looks like the sky is on fire. I'm telling you, New Mexico skies are the most incredible. We're gonna lower that a little bit like that. There we go. Let's just watch it for a minute. First hike I've ever I ever did. Uh, I did three days in here, and a lot of it was filmed on a, Go, a GoPro, and it, it's never been seen on my YouTube channel because I, I had terrible footage. Hopefully, get some better videos. So, um, this shouldn't be that difficult. The only problem is, as usual, this bag is way too heavy, and I know I don't need this much stuff, but then again, I don't know, and that's what I don't like about not knowing a trail. So I. Don't think there's any water on this trail, although it's only 11 or 12 miles, so I shouldn't need a ton of water. I probably could get away with, in fact, I might just carry one. Yeah, we'll see. But anyway, that's our pack. Normally I wouldn't have shoes, extra shoes, but I'm gonna be crossing that river maybe, I don't know. That's probably extra weight I don't need. So I'm gonna be beat up on this, but we're gonna give it a shot. Here we All go. right, just getting started. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> but I thought I'd document it. I just love this stuff. We are a little wash here. Looks like we're headed up around this hill, so. Let's get going. I'll try to film as much as I can. All right, I'm just walking over here. With the camera don't mind the bouncing up and down i i left the gimbal because it's too much weight definitely gotta take it slow on this because i'm out of shape just you know for hiking and i'm encountering hills which we don't have in florida and the oxygen here is very thin at 6,000 feet compared to zero. So it's like a triple whammy on me. <sighs> and I'm probably carrying too much stuff. 
because I'm not sure of the weather and the cold. So I'm bring an extra bag. I'm sure I wouldn't love to throw half of that stuff on the ground right now and leave it, which I've done before. All right, I gotta get back on it. Man, tired already. It's only been a mile, two miles. Uh, yeah, so it's my own fault, but first I wanna thank my personal trainer, Mary. <laughs> I'm hiking that trail. I told you I wanted to hike briefly here. And uh, I should have done more leg days. I am so worn out already. It's only been two miles. This is what we have to train for, Mary. I'm sure a nice, super fit young person like yourself could do this easier than me, but these uh, elevations are a pain in the butt. Hips are burning. Whew. But I gotta say, I do have some conditioning basically because uh i got going in the gym there with her so with you i appreciate that look at this wilderness this is a true wilderness no roads in here some so many million acres i don't remember gila wilderness first federal wilderness ever created before the national park systems even i believe teddy roosevelt did it uh, John Muir had a lot to do with helping Teddy Roosevelt understand the importance of national parks and wilderness areas and monument areas. Thank goodness because these would be, this would be gone. This would be filled with houses now and people with million dollar homes up in the canyons just like it is the rest of the country. But at least we have this and I hope this stays this way. Um, it's the only, tr I think, tr really true wilderness, these kinds of things in the West, left in the U.S. The East Coast doesn't have anything like this. <sighs> because they didn't stop. They did not think ahead. Seems like humans don't do that very well. Anyway, thank you, Mary. Got a lot of little birds here. Kind of a nice view of that canyon wall. Down there, there's a river somewhere. A couple miles in. There's not gonna be anybody out here. Christmas week, cold. There was nobody in the parking lot where I was camping. I know this sounds morbid, but I said this before jokingly, but I'm serious. If if I'm gonna die, and we all are, unless God intervenes and changes the rules, this is where I'd like to die. A place like this, doing this type of a thing. I mean, how much better is this than a hospital bed? This is what life is about, folks. And I, it's amazing because I even forgot about it. I almost didn't do this this morning because I feel pretty crappy, actually. I don't feel great. <sighs> Elevation's off. Um, I can't breathe because of that oxygen issue. Hot and it's too much weight and I'm out of shape. And I get up here and I'm like, you know what? That's right. <laughs> Uh people, I know there's not many people that watch my channel, and if this section's going on the video, I just want you guys to know I, I do appreciate you guys following this, and I have got a few comments, not many, because I don't have a lot of followers, but sometimes people will comment that, hey man, get back out there, because I really hike through your videos, you know, and I'm sure that's true, because I did the same for a long time for a lot of other people's videos. I just don't think about it that way, but I'll tell you what, between you and me, as a team here, if I could do this and nothing else but this and make 
content and share these adventures in parts of the country, maybe in parts of the world. I would love to do nothing else but that, you know? We all get trapped doing our jobs and making money and paying bills. And even though I've got my life pretty simple, I still have to do that. And I can't just come out here and do this every day of the year. And that's really all I want to do. Not to not work, because this is a lot of damn work. But because I think this work is actually important, isn't it? More important to see this than pay your rent. Meaning, be trapped in the rent machine, the bill machine, the bosses, the timelines, the deadlines, the stress, the pay the bills, got to work again to pay the bills. That machine is false. This right here is real. I feel like we could see the Ponderosa sitting up on the hill. This is really nice here. I like this valley. Right where I'd build my ranch if I was the first one out here in 1785. Wow. I'm just a couple hundred years late. That's all. Cold. <sighs> Feeling pretty good though. Everything worked out so far. I might have a little bit too much, but I'd rather have that than just freaking cold. That's where we came from right there. I have a feeling we're going to be crossing that water already. a little bit more my body finally said all right I guess we're gonna do this thing again for the shaking. I just don't have a gimbal on this trip. Too much weight. Legs are burning, man. My hips are killing me. I gotta take it slow. I ain't old, but I ain't young. Well, I guess we'll stop somewhere here. See if we can fix it. First river crossing here. Which is actually right there, but I think I can walk across that, that tree. We'll see. Uh, so what do you do with a camera in your hand? At least I don't want to get my boots wet already. Hmm. I'm gonna have to put this down. Made it across without getting wet. Now we've entered kind of a meadow here. It's kind of nice. I don't know where we're going. Um, I got a map in my bag somewhere, but I kind of don't care. We're going to go to Hell's Hole. Let's see what that's all about. All right, here we go. <sighs> Rough. Coming up that hill, man. I'm out of shape. It's good to be up here on the top, although it's more windy. 
We got a nice little meadow, flat area here. We'll see where it goes. place for a little a little ranch hmm. <sighs> hard time breathing oxygen not enough oxygen in the air sign coming up let's see where we're at i'm just gonna wander back in here for a week see what happens no plan I do have a map i know where i'm at but no plan got enough food for a few days probably more than i need all right what is this okay i don't know it says cliff dwellings well that's where it just came from little creek three miles and hell's hole 11 miles where do we go decided to go to little creek three miles up stop there for lunch and see how i'm feeling might be all I do today. That'll be about six miles. And if I feel like it, I'll keep going. I'm liking these trees now. Oh, I think we got a canyon coming up. Probably with a little creek in it. Might be a good spot to sit for a day or two and meditate. That's why I'm out here. Going slow, guys. I can't get any oxygen. My muscles are resisting me. I love this kind of a place. Now, see, this is a forest. Why do I say that? Because the forests out what, east are just filled with shrubs and in Florida, it's even worse. Filled with everything that wants to kill you. Palmettos that cut your skin thorns and fire ants and snakes and everything gators uh i like a place where you can see the trees or in the trees but there's space in between the trees to walk to ride your horse just to kind of see it it's just a prettier view i really like it all right let's head up there got a cool little canyon here a little draw you can just see how this was formed by water so at some point there must be enough water to go all the way up or there used to be a long time ago it's very interesting all the debris you know came from flooding and it looks so dry here but i remember seeing the uh, flooding damage at the catwalk over on uh, the other side of the forest near glenwood and rocks like that, huge boulders, were just rolled down from water. Just destroyed that whole setup. It's really hard to believe, but if it rains and you get those flash flooding, man, this place is very dangerous. <sighs> very cool. Here we go. Moving slow. Gila Wilderness, New Mexico. <sighs> I don't know if I'm on the right trail, but 
That's the way I like it. Yeah. You can see Apache in here. This used to be Apache land. Very much so. Some of the last of them were here. Well, I'm sitting on this nice stump. Oh yeah, perfect seat. I can barely get up this canyon, man. I am so out of wind. Exhausted already. Here I want to do 40 mile trip. I might just do 10 and turn around. But I checked the map. I don't know where I'm at. I'm not lost. Just have to turn around and go back the way I came. But there's no, I mean, this doesn't really look like a trail. I mean, it turned into that. Could be. But I'm going to keep going for a while and see if maybe it is. I'm looking for a little creek. But there's each one of these little canyons. You know, even if they don't have a designated trail, they've got an animal trail like this, so. Unless you see those little rock piles, those cairns, they call them. And I'm not seeing them anywhere. So I'm gonna go a little further. If I don't see anything, I'll turn back around, head back down there. But uh, even just this sitting here, relaxing is good. Build a fort here and go to sleep. I'm tired. Oh my god. No idea where I'm at. I think I'm in the right canyon, but we came from way down there. Got some cool rock formations coming in. We're getting towards the top of this. And it's turning that way to follow that part of the canyon. That's kind of dead ends. So we'll keep going. Straight up exhausted, folks. More than I even thought I would be. I'm just gonna find a camp here for the afternoon and rest. I think I've done about, I don't know, six miles maybe. It's not nothing, but, especially where they got a 50 pound pack on, but I really would like to be doing at least 10 a day. Not gonna happen yet. Just too exhausted. be anybody up here this trail is off the main path if it's even one of the marked trails i don't even know it could just be an animal trail but i keep seeing these so i'm thinking it it's got some it is something that's that's a cairn so it's just not looking like it's going anywhere A good tent spot right there. Might come back to this if I have to. All right, on we go. We're getting up to the top of the mountains here. I don't know where the trail's going, so I'm just gonna find a place to put a tent. Maybe up in there. If there's one. Jeez. I don't like in this cloud either. Don't need no snow or rain. Come on now. There it is. The morning's work. <laughs> nice little water spot they created, looks like. Maybe for animals, maybe for hikers. That's clean enough to uh, filter for sure. It's cleaner than any swamp I drink out of. Thank you. Exhausted. I haven't been this exhausted in years. I gotta get out of this wind. <sighs> Set up some kind of shelter. It's not liking to look at that rain, snow, whatever it is. If I can get into these trees. <sighs> I 
Uh, God, this is hard. Every step feels like concrete on my legs. All right, I'm hoping the end is there. Mary, when I get back, you're getting me in shape. We should have worked harder. I mean, let me rephrase that. I should have worked harder. This is what I'm doing. God, 6,500 feet elevation. Every step is like a, I can go about 50 feet and I have to stop. Incredibly fatigued. But, well, I used to be a guitar player. It's a Fender somewhere. Guitar players can get it done, so here we go. I made it to the top. Starting to snow. That's what I came for, right? This looks, thank you. And there's plenty of places up here to get a tan site. Maybe right there is perfect. Thank God. We're gonna set up camp. We're gonna stay up here for tonight. It's gonna rain. Oh, man, look how high we are though. I literally climbed to the top of one of these ranges. Wow. Huh? I did not plan on that, but here I am. Holy crap. I'm exhausted. So, if I was acclimated, if I was used to this, I was out here hiking every week, and I lived in this area, I'm sure this would be easy, but it ain't easy. I think I'm gonna go. Yeah, we'll go this way. Anyway, let's get set up. Just remember, guys. Just remember. Look at that. Let's see. Look at that. Nice. Um, we started on the other side of those mountains down in there. That's with the heel. Anyway, just remember, I do this for you so you don't have to. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I wish you were doing it right now because I am exhausted. I haven't had fun today, but now I'm feeling a sense of accomplishment because I got to the top of this damn mountain from way down there. And I'm thinking there's gonna be a meadow or some, I'm hoping there's a little campsite, maybe with a fire pit where somebody else has camped and I can uh, kind of get out of the wind and even maybe do a fire tonight. Um, I don't want to wander too far this way because this is not the way I want to go tomorrow. But, I don't know. That's a good spot right there. But there's a high wind up here. Ah, all right, let's go. Inside the tent, it is getting rough. Um, it was snowing pretty good. And then it's freezing rain, so I just decided we're putting a tent up. And, of all times, not to have all my stakes. It just, I'm a little concerned. This wind is pretty bad. I'm not liking it, so I'm hoping in the middle of the night I don't come blown off this mountain. It's going to be a test for my gear. Not quite what I was planning. All right, hitting it. It's six o'clock, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I've been laying in this tent all day. Gila Wilderness, New Mexico, hiking. More like laying down and trying to stay warm. Uh, temperature dropped, started snowing, sleet, uh, frozen rain, whatever you want to call it. Set up my tent here on the mountainside as far as I could get out of the wind, but it wasn't much. It seemed to have stopped now but the temperatures dropped down quite a bit. So I'm just gonna stay here for the night. Uh, survived a massive windstorm. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, it's morning. It's 5.30. We have ice. Snow that's been all night. I don't know how much is on here. It's not too bad. 
but uh, overall it was very toasty warm, if not very uncomfortable. Or if not comfortable, I don't know how you say that. It was not comfortable. Um, because of these, these mummy bags, you just can't move. But I did stay warm. Um, I think overall my tent did really well. Uh, all right, time to get up. I can't walk, I've been laying in there for 12 hours. <sighs> well, I survived that windstorm. Did pretty good. It's been mostly freezing rain. Not too much snow on the ground. All right. Basically, I hiked 10 miles, froze to death, slept on a terribly uncomfortably bed, comfortable bed, hauling 50 pounds for this moment. Smoke a broken cigar. <laughs> and some hot coffee. Some chocolate, maybe a little jerky on the way down. Watching that sunrise. It's coming. That stupid light is on, but there you can see it. Might do another time lapse. Cold, it's too high of an elevation, but it's definitely cold. But anyway, I get it. I get it. Uh, I turn off the camera for the time lapse, unscrew it, re screw it together, and now it works. So, we're gonna make some coffee, we're gonna have a little hiker breakfast, some chocolate pieces of uh, beef. Kind of a weird combo, but very rich. We're going to have one more cup of coffee and use up that last of that water so I don't have to carry it. We're going to finish this Ybor City Cuban hand-rolled cigar. I don't know what it is about cigars. I, I can't figure it out. You don't, you don't breathe the smoke in. Occasionally you get some in and I, don't, I hate that. I don't even like that kid you a little scratch in your throat, but it must be the nicotine because although I don't crave these and I'm not addicted to them, I don't wake up thinking I gotta smoke. I don't have that like I do with alcohol or I did with alcohol. Um, there is something really good about a cigar in the morning, especially when it's cold, and a cup of coffee, and the sun coming up. There's just something about that. And I think, really, the thing about cigars is because they're so, they take a while, right? They're really a teaching tool. Because I smoke them wrong, and I smoked them wrong from the start. Just just trying to smoke them and get it all into your system. Uh, that's not what this is. This is supposed to be slow. Let's take a minute and just 
enjoy the process of smoking a cigar. It's completely different than cigarettes or weed or anything like that. So, but in case you're worried, I, I did test. This ground is covered in ice and water, so although the land out here is definitely always dry and fire is always a hazard, we're at a low fire hazard now, winter saw the sign at the ranger station and I tried to light this grass just to even see if I could light it with a lighter and it won't light so no ashes are falling to burn the forest <laughs> something you do got to be concerned about out here now if you've watched all this you must have nothing to do but I'm gonna make one more cup of coffee Try to warm my hands a little bit. Throw that pack on and be out of here. And that's the beautiful sunset over there. I do love the sunset. Sunrise. Take your trash out when you bring it in. show you my spot I found the trails up there we're gonna go head back out but this was my home last night just look at that view all the mountain ridges all over there just this is a gorgeous spot here Some more storm clouds building over there. It looks like it's cold. It is cold. So, life lesson, I guess. Yesterday really sucked. Last night sucked. Um, right now is awesome. <laughs> to be right here is awesome. And it took a lot of, not a lot of work, but I mean, it took every step i was like why am i doing this why am i doing this uh because i'm out of shape too you know but uh i'll show you how much how cold it is right there um yeah look at this place i do love the gila all right we're headed back that way and then down that ridge and up that way back to the car about six miles. Here we go. I don't know what this looks like, but here we go. Sun's coming up. Awesome. Beautiful day. I almost want to keep going, but I'm already using my water up, so we'll head back. I got plenty of other places to hike in this country on this trip. You can always come back. Maybe when it's not as cold. <laughs> Although, this hasn't been too bad. A little bit cold. I mean, definitely cold, but... Well, well worth it. For these views. <sighs> Heard some wolves earlier. Maybe coyotes, but I think it was wolves. Coyote! There's that trail. What do I want to do? Find out where it goes. Let's do it. Watch me fall right here. Bah! No, we're not doing that, right? We're not doing that. We're hiking. I am just can't get any oxygen. That's the one part about coming from Florida straight here is hard. Beautiful place though, isn't it? Look at that. I could take a billion, billion pictures of this stuff. 
But I will say, you no matter how many pictures you take, it ain't the same as being here. <sighs> Good and bad. My left foot, I can't feel right now because it's so cold. <sighs> But I'm also feeling really good because my pack is now the proper weight. I got rid of that water, got rid of a lot of that food. Never did use those shoes. I could have been some extra. And that's a big part of it. Getting your pack right makes a big difference. Thank you, little spot. I saw that spot right there from here yesterday when it was just sleet coming down. I was like, that looks like my spot, and it was. <sighs> All right, we're out. Favorite time of the day right here. One of these days I'll get some good equipment and take the time to film this properly. Like a lot of those other YouTubers do, but I'm just trying to hike, you know? Share this as much as I can. Guys, yeah, this is um this is in your country here, if you're in the United States. This is the US. Look at that. Awesome. And there's a lot of space still out here in the West. Fortunately. Okay, well that's worth it. Look at that view. Wow. That's where we're headed. Amazing. Good morning. You can't get any walking done. I keep seeing these views. Look at this. I think this is going to be an amazing day. Honestly, I should keep hiking. <laughs> Man. We'll go on to California, but I got some things in Flagstaff I want to see. Maybe the Grand Canyon if it's open. A little bit of it. Thank you, Gila. I'm pretty sure that's where the river is. We are up in the sky, folks. 7,000 feet. 29th of December, 2022. Look at that mountain up there. You can tell from the elevation it's got more snow. I wonder what mountain that is. I could live here, guys. Just <laughs> All I need to do is find enough weed. To, if I could have lived here 200 years ago, just hunting, hunting, backpack in and out of here and just make this your home. Can you imagine what life must have been like? Oh, good. For the, for the Indians that lived here, native tribes, and even the first explorers that were European. I mean, whoever came in here first. It's just glorious. And the West all used to be like this. And now it's all gone, with few exceptions. And this is one of them. Silence. Love to see some elk or something this morning. Let's see if we can't find something. Thinking there's the trail, but I'm thinking if I climb this little hill, this looks like we're gonna have a view. Yes. Share it with you as I see it. How about that? How about that? I believe if you look right there, there's some cliffs. Let's see if we can get closer. There you go, right there. Sorry. That white line. That's the Hilo River when you walk the canyon there.
going to warm up today. Didn't have any of this sun yesterday, man. I can handle walking a ridge instead of climbing those things. Those gullies. Like yesterday. That was a hard day. just that extra elevation gives it all that snow Down a hole. Oh, that would have sucked. I would have went down there. <sighs> it has happened before. I can't see anything because of the sun. Whew. I'm grateful for it. A giant engine of fire in the Outer space, just enough warmth to keep us alive. Thank you. Oh, that little bird right there. I don't know if you can see him. Can't get it zoomed in. Oh well. He's sitting right on that post. There he goes. Oh wow. This would be a glorious place to ride horses, man. Now I get it. I mean, you could get up in here for a month and never see it all. I'm really surprised I haven't seen any deer yet or elk. Probably because I'm talking to you guys too much, but this is the perfect place for elk. Pause right there. Warming up already. Get this shaved egg out. <laughs> I uh, can't stop taking video. It's just too gorgeous. Look at that behind me. If you can see it past the sun. Just amazing. Let me get a better picture of that. So I'll get this edge here. Been a lifetime up here taking pictures, man. Great to have a drone up here, too. Probably can't use one legally. That is. It's already warming up enough, I had to take off my hat.
Hills, we should walk. Some birds right there. I don't know if they'll let me get close. No, they're already gone. A lot of little songbirds in here. I want to take a look at this. afraid there's the river moisture <sighs> beautiful sorry if I keep saying the same thing over and over again it just it is awe-inspiring I've just made a decision right now this morning I'm going to be moving to Silver City, I think, if I can make it happen at um, some point in the future. This is my home. Uh, and you know why? This reminds me a lot of where I grew up in North Idaho. A little drier, more canyons, which I like. But this little Gila wilderness here, little, it's millions of acres. Um, just makes me feel right inside and all I need now is my horse and as a kid I used to we used to have places like this in Spirit Lake Idaho where we grew up north of Coeur d'Alene and this is what we had as a backyard I mean we could ride for hundreds of miles there wasn't anybody up there now the place is all filled with people coming from California and Oregon and Seattle all build the houses in there there's nowhere it fenced off and it's just gone we were lucky to get the last bit of it and i would take my horse through these burnt areas and just disappear for days well a day at a time and i don't know i don't know why i am that way but i am i am a jeremiah johnson type without the skills <laughs> If I had grown up, well, I can't say that. My dad had the skills. He just didn't teach us. You know, I guess too busy trying to raise a family, but he taught us a few things. But I, I do remember hunting. We went hunting for elk a few times and just doing that and getting up in here alone. It's just, it's so much better. Okay. I don't think I'm going to move here because you, this is this is never going to be built out unless the government falls apart. This will always be designated wilderness, which means no roads, no cars, other than that one that brings you in here. Uh, ever, no housing. It remains wild. And that is rare. There's other places like that in the U.S., but not so. I don't think there's another one this pretty. Maybe in Colorado. I haven't been to Colorado yet. That's the one state I haven't been to, which is right next door. Maybe I should do that. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this means as much to you as it does to me. Probably not, but let me tell you something. Look at that sun right through that tree. That's <laughs> awesome. That looks like a the glory of God's throne right there. Amazing. So I just came from there, heading that way. But I'm noticing, this is what I was trying to get to yesterday, so I don't know if I was on the wrong trail, maybe. But it's only a mile. I wanna go ahead and walk down that mile and see what's down there. And then we're gonna come back to here and head home right there, three and a half. So mile up, mile back is two, plus three is Five and a half to go. Let's see what we got. <sighs> 
then again, that means I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up here. <laughs> Should we do it? Sure, why not? Hmm. Temperature drop down in here. Out of the sun. Good deer and elk area. I'm surprised I don't see any. Because you can't hunt in here, so I don't think. in this little meadow here. Should be getting close to the creek. Always reminds me of you know these trails. All the trails in and out of here were used by the Apache and whatever tribes lived in this area. You just know it. They walk down this gully. Not with modern boots and backpacks, but this was their home. What a place. Air and water. This feels like a watery place. Let's try to be quiet. Maybe somebody's drinking down here. Like a deer or something. Probably not. This is a perfect spot for them. Okay. So the interesting about this place is we're only an hour from the desert. All around us is desert around this section of wilderness, which is enormous, but you can see we got snow and pine trees and grass and canyons and you got rivers running all over the place here. Little streams and rivers, it's pretty amazing. It's a perfect little oasis, really. That's the, I'm sure that's the reason that Teddy Roosevelt saw the importance of saving this. It's just too special. It really is special here. And nobody knows about it. Very few people come up here. I love that. Don't you come up here now. Ah. Little creek. All right, I'm going to get some water, actually. Look at that. That's all you need. I wouldn't trust this water to drink straight, unless you had to. But I do have a water filter, so let's get some of that going. Well, this would have been nice last night. <laughs> this place here is perfect. A little campsite. Look at this little meadow. I know where I'm coming back. Nice. So I'm gonna just stop for a minute, take a break, get some water. Actually, don't even have to filter it. I can just boil it, make some coffee. Let's sit for a minute, and then we're heading back out.
nice to share it with somebody, but then again, I like being alone too, so. The dichotomy, the curse of the loner. Likes to be alone. Sometimes you get lonely. But not enough to give this up. I can tell you, it ain't worth it. To be in town. Just need some water. I'm not getting wet. Go, oh, that freaking cold. I'm glad I didn't have to cross that. Coffee no. Look here. Well, we didn't see any deer yet. That's all right. We saw everything else. That's all everything. 10 bucks to anybody who can guess that movie reference. I saw everything. I'm not gonna tell you who it is. Put it in the comments. Almost down to the bottom. It's turning into more of a high desert feel. Canyon down there. Got some pretty serious mud. Oh, great. Little slick. I met a nice lady. I don't know how old she was. She had to be 70 to. 85 years old, something like that. Hiking up past me, making me look like I'm out of shape. <laughs> Turns out her name is Joan, and she works with, or she volunteers for trail maintenance of whatever age she was. I'm telling you, I'm gonna guess, and Joan's watching this if I'm saying you're too old. I would say 80 years old. And uh, hiking this hill with a pack as big as mine. Heading up to where I just came from to check out the trails, make sure the trees are down and all that. He told me, hey man, if you move here, we could use your help. So she gave me the name of her organization, Gila Backcountry Horseman. And uh, I think I was supposed to meet her. I think I was supposed to be right there when she came walking past me and we stopped for five minutes to talk. Because that's exactly what I would love to do, volunteer or even find work doing trail maintenance guiding horses eventually have a business doing that in areas like this hiking horseback packing etc i know there's quite a few of those in this area look at this this is the kind of place where you would be born once you're here however you got here born here whatever your whole life is this little gila you know your business your recreation your memories just an amazing place. I bet the same around, you know, Yosemite and other big parks like that, Yellowstone, Zion, same thing. Oh, I like, I like this place better than the Utah park, so. Um, although those are amazing, I don't, they don't have the variety of trees and things they do here. And maybe I haven't seen it yet, so. Uh, almost done.
Now, somewhere right over there, I can see it. I don't know if the camera can see it. Is my car. There's the Gila River. We're back. Just gotta get down into there. And that is it, folks. We're at the bottom. Came out right there. I think this is probably Jones' truck. Thank you, Gila Wilderness. We'll be back. There is a lot more to do here. My feet are kind of hurting. Got a sore spot on my foot. I don't know. It's got nothing to do with the boots. I had it before the boots. But anyway, we just got to walk the road across there to go see my car, get in my car. And I had a sudden thought to just now. I'm going to go into Silver City. Silver City. I'm going to go right on to Silver City. And uh, rustle me up some grub. Some Mexican food, if I can find it. No offense to my Mexican friends, that was a terrible Mexican accent. But uh, I assume they have good Mexican food in this part of the world. We're gonna find out. The way I work is, I know one guy in town, and that's the guy that fixed my car. So we're going back to talk to Mike at Hilltop Service. Let's see if he can recommend. Recommend. I'm gonna sign off for now for the Gila hike. Man, this was a great trip. I've got hours and hours of footage. I don't know what this had, what this has turned into for my final video, but what a trip. And it was only two days. It, hard. I think I'm done. <laughs> I, you know, I could push, but I'm got to get conditioned with this air and um, back in hiking shape again. That's the other thing. Uh, new boots. That's another thing. You know, all that. So, but what a place. Um, I've decided I'm going to move here if at all possible. So the wheels are turning in my head once again. You know what this is with me. If you hear me talk with a stupid accent all the time. <laughs> Two things. I'll sign off with this. If you live in the South long enough and you're a musician, you got a musician's ear. You just pick up all those accents. So you're always talking like this. How you doing today, Bobby? What's going on, Kim? And uh, that stays in your head, man. I can't get rid of it. And then the other thing is, I just watched one of my favorite movies of all time, Lonesome Dove. I'm driving through Texas, Texas. And I thought, I'm gonna watch Lonesome Dove while I'm driving. And I just think it's one of the best jobs ever done in acting. Um, um, Robert Duvall, I forgot the other guy's name, very famous. But uh, Augustus, or Gus, and Woodrow Call. And I had just been going around. Dang, Woodrow. <laughs> I ain't talking about dying, I'm talking about living. Now, Gus, you go on now. I just, <laughs> it's in my head. So I've been talking like that on my videos, I apologize. We're gonna go into town now, Woodrow. Gonna roll up, rustle up some grub. Time to do some living. You guys do some living. Get to the woods. Get to these woods if you can. Oh my God. But if you can't, I'll guarantee you, y'all gonna find what you need in that area where you live right now. Even if you gotta go to Texas. I did like a place in Texas. Uh, San Antonio. Wanna drive them cattle up to San Antonio. And uh, also, um, Right above there, uh, uh, Junction, Texas. That's where I spent the night. It was so cold. Actually, pretty pretty nice area there. Uh, hill country. But it ain't like this now. You guys take care. Thank you for watching. Uh, more stuff to come. Nomadic recovery. Stay sober. See ya. Heal up.